career departs with Double Take Sports. Uh, you mentioned earlier one of the reasons that you were sleeping in your car in Jacksonville is because you wanted to save money. And mm -hmm. I know part of your reason for doing that is because you have business aspirations as well. Yes, Where did that entrepreneurial mindset come from and how have your ideas come to fruition since then? I've always been, you know, had, I always had the entrepreneur mindset, uh, but it took, it took honestly being undrafted and, 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 and going through everything I went through and, allowing myself to understand like, hey, look, football can be over. It's things that's bigger than football. It's things that you can do off the field if you do it the right way and conduct yourself and, and bring it all together. It can be bigger than what you can do in football. You know, so for me, it was just let me get myself whole as a man. You know, I'm working on myself as a football player. I'm, I'm real good. I'm real quick. I can catch the ball. I can do everything. But let me work on myself as a whole individual person because the things that's off the field can affect the things that's on the field. So if I'm positive and I'm having a great, great, great mindset off the field, on the field, I'm going to be even more excited. You know, this is fun. This is football. This is a game. This is what we do. So having those balances in my life, along with the faith and family, having those balances allow me to understand how do I need to run my business when I get off the field? Because this and my body and what we do, this is a business. So we got to conduct it like that. So when I come to my real estate, when I come to my dog breeding uh, uh, business, I breed, I breed French Bulldogs. Um, when I come to any business that I have that, that, it can be something little, it's a raindrop for me. So when I build those raindrops up and those raindrops keep falling, eventually it'll be a flood off the field and on the field. So it's just something that I, I really enjoy and take part in and, and, and excited to reach each level, you know, whether it's real estate, commercial commercial real estate, uh, 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 youth, youth football camps, um, want to build a gym one day. It's a lot of different things I want to do, but I'm making sure I keep two or three things, be consistent on it, with it at 26 years old and allow myself to build from 26 on. And hopefully, you know, by, by 30, I can say I got 20, 30 properties and, you know, hopefully I can still be returning some punts.